is some bruises on my face. That's just a seizure thing. Today, we are making delicious guacamole from things around the kitchen. Now, of course, we are going to include the staples, which is avocado and lemon, because we need that delicious staple to actually have guacamole. But this is going to be more of a supreme guacamole. Now, as you can see, we have pickled roasted peppers, and we have beets and horseradish, and of course, the avocado and lemon. And of course, we need our chips. Apparently, I ate most of these chips right after I was in the hospital getting my stitches. So why not finish using them for guacamole? Now, a mix of tofu and mushrooms for that wonderful meaty texture as well as the protein added from the beans and the tofu for all that protein that those meat eaters think that I'm missing. These delicious beans are courtesy of my wonderful mother cooking these for me and courtesy of the beauty of leftovers. Now you must mix the tofu and the beans together because you want to have all the flavor mixed together. Of course. Now I cook my food in the oven uh, not just because it's healthier than frying the food but also because frying the food can be dangerous for me. Uh, I've already had this and this is just from going to the bathroom. So cooking my food I've got to be careful. So I put my food in the oven and let it bake. You can fry your food uh, or bake it in the oven if you want, it's your choice as long as you don't have seizures like I do, uh, you can cook it however you want. Make sure that it is cooked thoroughly, especially if it is mushrooms. And before you cook the food, make sure you wash your food thoroughly. Of course, if you eat meat, you have to be a lot more rigorous in washing and cooking your meat a lot longer. When you're cooking vegan meats, any substitutes, you don't have to cook it as long because, well, it's vegetables and it's not going to give you food poisoning as long as you wash it properly. Now after you've added as many avocados as you like to your bowl, as well as your lemon, you can add the pulp if you want. Uh, I prefer the pulp myself. Now you take one pickled roasted pepper and cut it up into little tiny pieces and add it to the bowl as well as one spoon of beets and add it to the bowl and mix it up. Now I also like to add a couple of squirts of this beautiful Vega Omega Oil blend uh, but that's just because I'm on vegan keto right now and it adds a lot more healthy fats to my diet and it is also super delicious. You can honestly add this to even fruits and it'll be delicious. Speak from experience. Now as you can see the beautiful beans, tofu, and mushrooms are cooked and ready and in the bowl with the rest of the guacamole. All you have to do is just mix it, make sure it's not too hot before you eat it, and dig in. Now dig into your delicious food and bon appetit! Mwah. Now if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not sure. Be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays, my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day, and my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.